I climb the ladder to the deck. I take a moment to thrust my hands into my armpits. I would hate to feel winter here. No doubt the air is desolate. Unaided, I can't see Albertican, but the scope aims in the correct direction. I lean to the eyepiece, ignoring the chill from the brush of metal housing against my cheek. The island is nothing but a dim lump, a black rock on a blue sea. The island's highest point is closest to where I stand, obscuring its size, and the light is too poor for me to make out more than the dormant lighthouse's peak, which, oddly, seems to barely rise above the main height of the plateau. I can't even see the docks or the labor yard where Mikhail established our camp. I slump back from the scope and turn to the ladder. I startle to find the inspector at the base. He is examining the locks on my briefcase. I climb down, my boots clanging off the rungs. He clears his throat, straightens his collar, and cuffs. I descend to meet him and ask, May I be of service? I did not want to speak in front of the ferryman. He is a terrible gossip and hopes to put himself enough in someone's pocket they post him to a busier channel, the inspector says. He checks once over each shoulder as if the ferryman hadn't already departed to the mainland. I want to give you a warning. The report that summoned you is not my first report. This is the first I've heard of this, I say. The man leans forward, spits. Again, I smell sour hibiscus, and this time something underneath it, a faint, fishy odor. I'm not surprised. I can't say they've been well received, the inspector says. He kneels and plucks some sort of purplish moss. A bitter scent disperses, and I sour my nose. The inspector chuckles. He holds up a pinch of the moss and shoves it between his cheek and gums like chewing tobacco. He sucks hard through his teeth and says, Orlot, pungent when picked, yes, but it has a relaxing effect. So, Mr. Third Inspector, I say, trying to conceal that the odor of the herb is turning my stomach. Were I to have been privy to your prior reports, what from them would I have gathered? What is happening on Albertican? You won't like what you find there, the inspector says. And what might that be? I ask. Again, he leans closer, his mouth hardly a foot from my ear, his hot breath ghastly from the bitter herb. I half expect him to say ghosts. Insurrectionists, he whispers. I press my lips together. Had he half a bit of sense, he would have at least toned it down to a smuggling operation. It's expected from such a remote post. But this inspector is like every other low official distributed to posts such as these, placed there precisely because they saw insurrectionists around the corners and heard guerrilla code in the static. Of course, a post like this could make anyone desperate to feel valued. The inspector sucks through his teeth again, and he spits out a stringy wad of purple phlegm that quivers on the stone. He says, You don't believe me, I can tell. 